Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. Today, let's talk about Star Wars Episode 9 and the Knights of Ren. Now there is a minor plot leak. I don't know if it's true or not, but it is kind of of interest to Star Wars Episode 9. Now the leak is that the Knights of Ren have basically been in the unknown regions in a place called the beyond and they are set to actually come back. But however, it looks like Ray and Kylo Ren will have to team up to fight the Knights of Ren. Now, if this is true, this is something that I don't think anybody would expect to happen. Now, we don't know if this is necessarily true or not. I think it would be somewhat in interesting to find out for sure. But what if these Knights of Ren have some kind of way started their own dark side society, you know, similar to like the Sith or something like that? Maybe they find out something in the unknown regions that actually makes Kylo Ren and Rey work together again. So this is what this plot leak is kind of saying. So, but with Kylo Ren, if he teams up with Rey, they should really be unbeatable because we all know that Rey knows everything. She doesn't need any help, but Kylo Ren, he seems to need the help. So if I'm just expanding my mind a little bit more, I'm assuming that Matt Smith's character and Carrie Russell's character, I'm assuming that they're the the leads of the Knights of Ren, and they're going to go toe to toe, face to face with Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, if they are going to be these evil dark side users, J.J. Abrams, make them badass. Make them extremely evil. Because one of my complaints with Kylo Ren is that once he took off that helmet, his intimidation factor was gone. He was not cool anymore. And in The Last Jedi, he destroyed the mask right at the beginning. Even though we've heard a rumor that Kylo Ren will be getting his mask back in this movie. But I think it's a little too little too late for that because we know what he is with the mask off. But to see six dark side users you know going all out against Rey especially and possibly Kylo Ren too we don't know but this rumor pretty much does set up where they have been for the last year because remember episode 9 takes place one year after the last Jedi and we all know the last Jedi took place right after the force awakens so now we're going to find out what J.J. Abrams is made of with Star Wars Episode 9. Now, the Knights of Ren, they, I always said they look cool. They had a real, real cool factor in those brief scenes that they had, a flashback. But there has been an awakening, I think, with the Knights of Ren. Let them go all, all out. Let them defeat Rey. Let them kill off Rey. And then they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kylo Ren and make that the story because Kylo Ren is a Skywalker. You keep calling these movies the Skywalker saga. Let's see an actual Skywalker stand front and center. And that is Ben Solo, the grandson of Anakin Skywalker. Let him stand toe to toe with the Knights of Ren. Let the Knights of Ren be so evil, so bad that they take over this movie. They need to be on Palpatine evil kind of level. That's what I need to see. And we need to see Luke, and Anakin telling Kylo Ren how to defeat these guys. Maybe they have some knowledge of what these guys found out there in the unknown regions. The unknown regions have always been kind of interesting to me because they're unknown. And now we can actually try to find out something, something more about this. But let him be the focus of the movie and not Ray. Leave Ray. Out to the side, kill her off if you have to. Kylo Ren needs to be front and center 
standing toe to toe with his former apprentices since he was the master of the Knights of Ren. And maybe they are like this new Sith Order that they're trying to form. Maybe they found some new power that they think they can take over the galaxy over Kylo Ren. So that is of interest to me. If they have a plot twist like that, Star Wars Episode 9 may actually be watchable. But Rey has to be pushed aside. The Knights of Ren have to be wrecking shop in this movie. And Kylo Ren should be facing them toe to toe. What do you guys think of this plot leak for Star Wars Episode 9? Do you agree with it? It sounds interesting to me. If it's true. But I highly doubt that it is true. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.